strongly believe that life is a dance of partners. You know, viruses and their hosts, flowers and insects. But there is no such a glorious dance as the one between male and female, their sexual behavior. But as vital as sex may be, it is still a glistening puzzle. For example, why does peacock drag around such grand tail, colorful feathers, where it makes him both visible in his surroundings and makes his escape from predator more difficult? Why, unless he's completely insane? <laughs> well, Mr. Charles Darwin has proven that he's not. His concept of sexual selection explains the emergence and existence of these sexual characteristics and behavior that decrease survival precisely with females' preferences of these handicapped males because they can be sure that these males had gone through numerous challenges and they won, survived even though they're handicapped. On the other hand, these males with these imperfections actually advertise their good genes, excellent health, their superiority in the given surroundings. Thus, a female can be sure that these males and her offspring will manage to survive in the given surroundings. Now, the focus of the modern scientific research in evolutionary biology is actually the question how much did sexual selection influence on evolution of our sexual behavior? Would you consider the answer so much, knowing the fact there are 4,300 mammal species and only our behavior is beyond the bazaar? Or as much as the song says, you and me, baby, we're nothing but mammals, so let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. Because we don't, <laughs> do we? Or much enough, since if you were to ask your dog, okay, what do you think about my sexual behavior? His answer would probably be, oh, these disgusting people. <laughs> they have sex every day, <laughs> in the month. <laughs> Mrs. Smith is willing for sex even when she's not ovulating. Okay, Mr. Smith is willing always. <laughs> but they don't even care if their efforts will result in offspring or not. When they have sex, they hide in their bedroom. I mean, every proud dog copulates in front of his mates. <laughs> but people don't. What a strange species. Don't be surprised by your dog's puzzlement. Our closest relatives, gorillas and chimps, Completely different pattern of sexual behavior. I mean, monogamy is typical for birds. Yet, nowadays, the largest number of evolutionary biologists would agree with you that what contributed to the evolution of modern humankind, the development of speech, art, intelligence, is actually the evolution of upright posture, brain development, and our bizarre sexual behavior formed under the influence of the sexual selection. Thank you. <laughs>